Let's start. Today we will see how to implement a nested list view in Flutter Android. Let's see the project structure. In the lib folder, we have two Dart files. Main.dart and rowitem.dart. Let's see the rowitem.dart file. In this file, we have a string variable for the item of the parent list view, which will work as a heading. And then we have a list of strings, which will be used as a nested list view, that is the child or children list view. And also, we have a boolean variable to handle the nested list view expansion status. Let's see the main.dart file. First, we import the material.dart package and the row underscore item.dart package. Then, we create the stateless widget called myApp in the main function. This is the myApp stateless widget. We create a material app and apply a theme in the build function. The home attribute is set to a stateful widget called my home page. This is the my home page stateful widget. Here we create a state object of this stateful widget, whose name is underscore my home page state. This is underscore my home page state class, here we will design our app. First, we have two lists of strings as data members. The first list is for the parent list view, and the other is for the nested child list view. Then we have an empty list of type row item class. We will use this list to populate the list view. In the init function, we call the get data function. This is the get data function. Here we put both parent and children list data into a row item object and put that object into the list. In the build function, we have a scaffold widget upon which we will build other widgets. The app bar attribute is set to the app bar widget. We have used the title variable as the title of this app bar. The body attribute is to the list view.builder widget. The item count attribute is set to the length of the list. The shrink wrap attribute is true. This is an important attribute and helps in the smooth nesting and expansion operations of the two lists. In the item builder attribute, we will design the item of the parent list view. Here we have a column widget. First, we have a gesture detector widget. This widget has a function called on tap. When a parent list item is clicked, this on tap function will be called. If the parent item is already expanded, this function will collapse it. If it is already collapsed, then this function will expand the parent item. The child attribute of the gesture detector widget is set to a card widget. Inside the card widget, we have a text widget. The value of this text widget is the list index.parent. Below the gesture detector, we have our second child of the column widget. It is a visibility widget. The visible attribute is set to the expanded boolean variable of the parent list view. The child attribute is set to another list view.builder widget. This is our nested list view inside the parent list view. The shrink wrap attribute is set to true. The physics attribute is set to clamping scroll physics. This attribute is very important, otherwise, the child list view will not be scrollable. The item count is set to the length of the children's list. In the item builder attribute, we design the nested list view. Here we have a card widget. And inside the card widget, we have a text widget. The value of the text widget comes from the list index children children index. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can create a nested list view in Flutter Android. Thank you.